Hey, Monte, um, can you just describe the feeling that you guys has, had as a team after Nicola was ejected and the mentality that you had to, to I think, draw it within four uh, early in the fourth quarter? Um, you know, guys stepped up uh, all year. We just tried to, you know, anybody got injured, you know, um, or w was hurt or went out by any circumstances. We just tried to go out and play uh, through it. And, you know, we got a good roster, you know. Faco came in, played amazing. Uh, Austin came in with that group and, and Will and those guys, they they got us back in the game, uh, got it to four. But that just shows, you know, the heart of this team, man. We didn't want to get swept. We didn't want to go out that way. But, you know, that team was – they played – very, very well on there, the Suns. Got to give them respect. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, guys, congrats on a great season, and, and both you guys can answer this question. But when Jokic did get ejected, obviously he had to leave right away. How did you guys come together, and what did you guys talk about in terms of picking up the energy level in his absence there? Me? Yeah. <laughs> we just tried to do the, a click, you know, uh, change our mentality in that part of the game and try to be brave, uh, try to be aggressive, try to be, uh, try to play with the energy uh, and don't let me, don't let me, let, let them play comfortable. So uh, no, I, I think we, we, we did a, a good job at the final, but it's tough. It was, it, it was a tough, uh, a tough love. Yeah, I mean, when the color going out, it was very tough. Um, we never been in that position all season uh, with him not playing or being out there. Um, so it was tough. You know, we put JaVale in for the first time. I feel like he had a great impact, man. That just shows you what a three-time champion is and just being ready when your number calls. So um, it was tough, but, you know, we had a lot of game left. So we just wanted to trust our defensive schemes and uh, trust our offense and make plays for everybody else. Brandon Cristal, KOA Denver. I, I guess this question's for both of you guys if you want to answer it. With the sense of urgency that y'all played with, especially after losing Nicola, is it encouraging to know that can carry over or frustrating that maybe y'all didn't have that same intensity early in the series? Uh, I mean, I feel like we play hard uh, despite uh, the, the first two games. Um, like I said, man, like we, I feel like we did everything we possibly could. You got to look at it, you know, CP made a lot of tools that hurt us down the stretch. Devin Booker got going and they supporting cast play very well. You know, I'm not sitting up here um, trying to make excuses or nothing, but we got to get that, that basketball uh, organization over there. Good credit. You know, there was a better team this series. They executed, they made us pay for our mistakes. Um, so I think we just – our sense of urgency was there at times, but we played very hard, and I can go home with that on my mind. I'm sure he feel the same way. We we gave it all we had. Um, them shots just was was draining at times when they we go on runs, cut it to six, eight, four, and, and one mess up on defense, they make you pay. So, shout out – salute. I salute that team. They're a very good team. They play well together. Esteban Abed. Eh, hola Facu, bueno, eh, no es la mejor situación por ahí para analizar lo realizado a lo largo de la temporada, pero ¿cómo te sentiste teniendo en cuenta que batallaron mucho contra las lesiones, terminaron tercero en una conferencia muy exigente, ¿no? Y um, for Monte, what can you tell me about the rookie you have in your side for the season he play? Eh, bueno, nosotros creo peleamos cuando se nos fue Joke en el partido eh, intentamos ser valientes intentamos no pensar ya nada, jugar sin miedo eh, defender duro defender agresivo era a ganar o y volvernos a casa así que jugamos con esa mentalidad aparecieron otros jugadores también como Jabal que jugó muy bien eh, muy agresivo muy valiente también eh, pero bueno no es injusto decir que al final el último partido fue el que más nos condenó. ¿no? Durante toda la serie creo que hicimos un trabajo, nos costó parar su, su ofensiva táctica, eh, ellos tuvieron respuesta para todos, eh, nosotros siempre estuvimos por, por detrás de ellos y, y bueno, creo que eh, a medida que avanzaba la serie intentábamos eh, darle una vuelta de, 
de, de tuerca, pero, pero bueno, fue, fue siempre difícil, ¿no? Uh, yeah, um, I've said it, you know, throughout the entire year. Um, this is a guy, you know, he comes straight over from overseas, um, not you know, familiar with the NBA game, throwing right in, impact right away. Um, he does stuff that, you know, nobody on our team does, Get hustle every time, picking up 94 feet, making it hard on guards, you know, not not caring who's he, who he guarding, you know, they can be bigger, smaller, and things like that. So um, I salute him, man. He made some amazing passes this season. I learned a lot from him, too, in the pick and roll also. So, I mean, I was happy for him to be on our team. We get – with me and him out there, I feel like it gave teams different looks. Um, but we can build on it, you know what I mean? It's our first year, first rodeo. Um, I think it was good. It was an amazing season. We all got hurt. Faku took over and led us in big games and played amazing. So uh, the balance, you know, this roster is amazing. You know, there's nothing to put our heads down about. We fought. We we're down a few guys, but, you know, it is what it is. It's all learning experience, and we can move forward with it um, for next season. Harrison Wynn, DNVR. Hey, Faku, uh, now that you have a full season under your belt, you played in the NBA for a full season, what was the toughest part about uh, adjusting from playing in Europe to here? What, what was the biggest difference now that you have a full season to look back on it? Uh, I would say here, you know, you, you, you have more space here, but also you have more athletic players who can guard in one second guard you. So I think that was my big challenge to – to be aggressive on, in, in offense and in, in different guard, uh, very dangerous players like, I don't know, like Lillard, CP3, uh, Steph. So uh, I think I would say that, uh, that that was my big challenge, try to, to, to compete against that kind of players. Katie Wingy, Altitude Thirds. Okay, well, speaking of, of that, I guess for both of you again, how tough was Chris Paul to defend in this series? And what can you say about the, the level of the game that he played? Uh, he's a, like I say, he's a Hall of Fame point guard, been playing the game 15 years in the league. Um, you know, he, he's really good at just calculating how we plan him, the looks, knowing what matchups to go at. Um, it was a good series for him, man, a great series. You know, he made big shots at the big shots. Probably was 90 plus from the line. I don't think he missed a free throw this series. Um, got his teammates involved and installed confidence in all the guys. I think us being point guards, um, understanding that we can learn from it and implement it with us next season. Um, salute to Chris Paul, man. Um, but uh, I'm lost of words. <laughs> he played amazing. So uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Shout out Chris. He yeah. played amazing. He played very, a very high level. Mm -hmm. uh, we always been behind on him in every in every play in every offense. Uh, it was hard because we could we try to change something more energy go under, but he always uh, have a, an answer uh, of everything we we try, and I think we we learn about a lot from from him this this playoff. Antonis Dragilakis, Euro Hoops. Uh, hello, uh, Fagu. Um, I'd like to ask you a question. Uh, you weren't really used to losing the playoff series while you were in Europe. You were mostly winning all the playoff series you had with uh, Real Madrid beat in Euroleague or in ACB. How does it feel for you losing in a playoff series after all this time? And what is the main lesson that uh, you carry from this series and the playoffs that you can use in your future in the NBA? Thank you. Uh, it's just move forward. I just try to learn about this season with my teammates uh, as a team. Uh, it was a, uh, a long season with a lot of game, with a lot of back-to-back -back as well. And it, it was all new for me. So I, I, will, I just try to uh, learn as much as possible. So uh, it's, it, it was a tough uh, loss for us and, and for me tough, uh, as well. Uh, but my way to think right now is just to change mentality, try to work as hard as possible and be ready for the next next season. All right, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Christo Saltas from SDNA Greece. Hello, guys. Hope you're doing well. Question for both of you. What is the most, what was the most special part 
of this season for you as a team and for your team and for your camaraderie? Uh, just winning games. Uh, just when guys go out, just seeing the guys step up, you know, um, people counting us out, winning, beating those good teams. I think that was good for everybody. You know, we, we implement 10 day, 10 day guys, you know, Austin, uh, Shaq come, come in and we make an impact. Uh, that was, that was the best feeling of the season. Just like, um, you know, nugget basketball and no matter a man go down, next man step up. So, um, that, I think that was the best part of the season for me, just seeing everyone get the opportunity and cashing in once they got it. So I think that was the best feeling for me overall. All right, that'll do it. Here we go. Thank you, boys. Bye.